cleaning any sewing machine is going to make it last a lifetime. So I'm going to show you how we take out and off the throat plate, where we clean and what we don't have to worry about, which I love. This is super easy. And so first off, if your machine is threaded, I'm going to tell you a little trick. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to go up to the spool and cut the thread up there. And then I'm going to pull this thread out the, the, the bottom of the machine. And why? Because if I pull the thread up this way, I often pull out of that lint that has gathered around your needle and foot, and I pull it up through the machine and it kind of gets caught. So over time, that could not be a great idea. I am gonna have you go ahead and take off your presser foot. It, uh, you can leave the dual feed engaged, and I'm gonna take a screwdriver and take out the needle. That's more of just so I don't get uh, stabbed with that needle. If you haven't changed needles lately, this needle should probably have uh, be replaced each time you clean your machine. Let's take out the bobbin. And notice on the throat plate, there are no screws. But all you need to do is take the screwdriver and lift on one of these corners. I'm gonna just twist on a, this corner or this one, either one works. And when you do that, it pops it up. We can set that aside. This little U-shape will lift up next, bring that out. And the last piece is your bobbin case. This entire piece will come out, and you're gonna notice that this is right where all the lint will accumulate. So the first thing we tend to wanna do is blow out the lint. Try not to do that, and please don't use canned air. That just blows more into the machine than out, trust me. So take your brush, get in here, clean it all out. And when do we know to clean our machine? We really find that if you're starting to skip stitches or hear anything that doesn't sound right, um, that is probably something down here is preventing the stitches to form as they're supposed to. So after you get all the lint out, you will find that you just need to point these two guys to the back of the machine. So just kind of set it in there. Once it sets in there straight, and again, pointing to the back, it will rock just a little bit. Then take the U-shaped piece we took out second, kind of line up the base, and then just drop it in. It should kind of sit there perfectly flush. Then the last one is our throat plate. Line the back edge up first, and then with two fingers push hard, and that will click into position. I usually will like to put a, my bobbin back in, Get that all situated. Make sure it gets into that little tension by clicking it into that area. And then before I pull on this little thread here, I can put the door over it. But did you notice that this door has a little circle in it? Do you realize that's a magnifying glass? So if you can't see something, you've got a magnifying glass right at your fingertips. Who knew, right? Okay, put that on, pull the thread. I'm gonna put the foot on next. And notice what I'm putting in last, the needle. And if you wanna use the, the multi-purpose tool that came with this machine, drop your needle in, flat side to the back, and then put the needle tip down and raise that straight up and then tighten the screw. Now you don't wanna tighten the screws too tight. That's when you might strip screws. So you definitely wanna tighten it so it is snug, but you don't wanna give it too much of a crank as you go. Now. Did I get that needle high enough? What I will do when I rethread the machine is I'll use my needle threader, and if the needle threader and the eye of the needle line up, I know for sure I've put my needle in correctly. So how often do you need to do this? Um, every three, four bobbins, you'll probably find yourself noticing maybe some interruptions in your stitch, and that's just because fabric is linty, and that happens. Then, once a year, take your FOF sewing machine to your local FOF store and have them do the rest of the machine. There's a lot of moving parts you and I don't get to that they are in charge of taking care of. And that regular maintenance is what's gonna make this machine last a long time.